I hear my enemies speculate about my motives, my ambitions. Who is Admiral Aiken Bosch? And what is that old scoundrel up to? The tragedy of my life is that I will be remembered as a butcher of innocence. And this assessment is not unfair. I cannot argue with their condemnation or with the verdict of history. The Neo-Terran Front is an army of stupid cattle, driven by their hatreds, their fears and insecurities. Ignorance is the greatest weapon of tyranny and old wounds open all too easily. I am merely a fool who created a monster I am now powerless to stop. And so I will play my role to the bloody end. I have given the lost generation something to die for. And now my legacy will be crowned with infamy. What my enemies will never understand is that my rebellion is about my love for humanity, not my hatred of Asudans. In the Gamma Draconis system, the destroyers have returned. And soon the Alliance will learn the method behind my madness. We have received news of an alarming development on the Civil War front. Massing his forces in the regular system, Admiral Bosch outmaneuvered the Colossus and its battle group. Rebel Armada is now en route for the Gamma Draconis system via Polaris, Epsilon Pegasi, and Capella. Their final destination, the Noso subspace portal. Allied forces destroyed a number of NTF warships as they ran our gauntlet of jump node blockades. However, rebels have sufficient firepower to threaten our positions in Gamma Draconis. The Colossus and its battle group are in close pursuit, neutralizing enemy stragglers. We must hold Gamma Draconis until these reinforcements arrive. Our squadrons will assist with the blockade of the Capella node. As the rebels begin their incursion, our objective will be to inflict as much damage as possible. The second phase will involve a counter-strike against enemy rallying positions, where the rebels will gather to coordinate their final attack. We must diminish the NTF's offensive capability before our confrontation at the node. This campaign may prove to be the Admiral's final gambit. Whether or not Bosch reaches the portal, the NTF regime and his domination of Polaris, Regulus, and Sirius are effectively over. Command has disclosed neither the motives behind Bosch's actions nor the consequences should the Admiral succeed. Do you know, 18 months of carnage and terror will soon come to an end. The Aquitaine has just received four wings of the new GTB Artemis, the Alliance's next generation light bomber. The most agile ship of its class, the Artemis will carry the Cyclops torpedo, our modified anti-cruiser warhead. I have reassigned pilots to the 64th Raptors. This squadron will play a bomber and heavy assault role in the upcoming operation. The Artemis will be armed with the new Prometheus cannon. Our nebula gas miners have gathered sufficient resources to resume production of the GTW-5 Prometheus S. The S-type is based on the original design of the Prometheus cannon. With high marks for shield and hull damage, the Prometheus was our weapon of choice in the Great War. This is Commander Beckett, leader of the 64th Raptors Bomber Squadron. At 0457, NTF warships entered the Gamma Draconis system and engaged our blockade. So far, we've taken down the NTC Absalon, the NTC Canaxa, and several troop transports. Admiral Petrarch has called in the 64th to assist. The Vasudans are leading the blockade with the GVD Hedetet, a Typhon-class destroyer. 
The Alliance has also set up a network of five Mjolnir RBCs, or remote beam cannons. These unmanned experimental weapon platforms discharge anti-warship beams to complement the defense of a strategic target. The NTF fleet will enter through the Capella jump node. Each warship will then jump to a rallying point within the Gamma Draconis system. In the interval between jumps, they will re-energize their subspace drives. Your role will be to neutralize the warships with your Cyclops torpedoes. The Iceni has already slipped through our defenses, but we will make every effort to track Bosch down before the rebels rally their forces and attack. According to intelligence, the NTD Uhuru, the NTC Pax, the NTC Liberty, and the NTC Undaunted have entered the subspace node and are heading for the blockade.
The NTD Uhuru is now in system. Take down that destroyer and neutralize the escort. Roger that, sir. Engaging your target. Bandits incoming! System. Take down that destroyer and neutralize the escort. Roger that, sir. Engaging your target. Bandits incoming! Deploying support ship now. Please stand by. Good work, pilots. Don't smoke them yet. We've got more trouble on the way.
CC Liberty now entering the system. Aeolus class cruiser. Ship in transit. That's a confirmed kill. We've got more hostiles jumping in. Here comes the NTF Inspiration Alpha. Hit them hard and make it count. Yes, sir. We'll take them down. Yes, sir. We'll take them down. Heads up, Alpha. The NTC Undaunted, the Leviathan-class cruiser, has entered the fray. Inspiration objective neutralized. Stand clear of the blast. Yes, sir. We'll take him down. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. The NTCV Perseverance has cleared the node. Roger that, sir. Engaging your target. Full oh, integrity failing. Get me out of here, command. Recon has located a rebel rallying point, and we will reprioritize your unit. Excellent work, pilot. With our blockade of the Capella jump node, the Alliance has achieved a major victory. The Mjolnir RBCs and the bombing action of the 64th negated a significant component of the Rebel fleet. The Raptors neutralized all hostile warships that crossed our lines. No other squadron can make that claim. Our unit will be redeployed ASAP. Report to the Ready Room on the double. For demonstrating exceptional skill in combat, you are hereby awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross.